Obviously, I'm not gonna post any more, like, you know, Skate 4 footage. Obviously, I'm not gonna post any more, like, you know, Skate 4 footage. Skate 4 footage. Yo, what's good? It's your boy C Million. A lot has changed since the release of Skate 3, and I hear a lot of people talking about how the new Skate Alpha feels, but not a lot of people get into the details of why it feels different or why it feels good. I'm here to get into some of the nitty gritty, so let's not waste any time and get started. The push animation in Skate 3 was fluid and smooth, but that was also its own downfall when compared to the Skate 4 Alpha. The lack of contextual torso and arm movement gave off an unnaturally smooth feel that only Skate 4 can expose when put in comparison. Skate 4 keeps the uniform motion that Skate 3 has and adds a little more spikes. The pushing leg kicks off more aggressively when in motion to give off a more realistic feel of pushing on a skateboard, and the arms follow through with that same intensity. A small but very important detail is how the pushing leg returns to the board. In Skate 4, the animation has to play out before you can stop pushing thus returning the leg naturally, as opposed to Skate 3, where you can return your foot from the front, which looks a little awkward in comparison. In Skate 3, you can ollie at various heights depending on how hard you flick the right stick. This gives you a sense of better control as you ride around. No need for crazy hops when riding up a curb. In Skate 4, there's only one uniform ollie height. You can adjust your front foot mid-air to make it look like you're in the air longer, but generally, it's all the same and I'm sure this is subject to change down the line. The throwdown in Skate 3 is more of a drop down, simply put. The player just kind of hands the board down to the floor and then hops on. Getting off is a little awkward, however, as you'd be sent flying a few steps on your feet if you get off your board at any speed that is slower than a snail's pace. I didn't push my left stick forward here. It just automatically moved me. In Skate 3, jumping onto your skateboard was relatively easy as it almost insta-locks you onto the board if you're close to it. Skate 4 isn't as forgiving though. You can easily miss the board if you're anything short of point blank range, and even then, it's gonna take some precision. Given how inconsistent this is, I'm pretty sure this is subject to change. Running and jumping was pretty much all you can do in Skate 3, and as for wall running and rolling, well, this is as close as you're gonna get. Skate 4 pretty much doubles as a parkour game with climbing, sliding, rolling, and wall running mechanics all available in just the alpha build. I can tell this was a passionate part of the project for the developers, and this is personally my favorite addition to the series. Skate 4 has a more refined and natural looking run that is way more common amongst real life skaters getting ready to do a throwdown. With the board in two hands and arm moving side to side, it just transitions fluently into the throwdown animation. Lastly, when bombing hills are reaching higher speeds in Skate 3, there is rarely any adjustment animation from the player, and they just stand there chilling at 50 miles per hour. A knee bend here and there, but that's pretty much it. In Skate 4, the player quickly gets in a bent over and arm spread position to increase their balance at high speeds. This is a more natural and optimal position for hill bombing at any level. Also, like Skate 3, the camera shakes violently to get off the adrenaline of going that fast on the board. A feeling that I'm sure pretty much every skater knows all too well. Okay, well that covers about everything that I wanted to talk about. If I missed something, it's probably because it wasn't polished enough for me. I tried to focus on things that were in the alpha that kind of worked at least 80% of the time. But if there's something that you wanted to talk about or something that you noticed, feel free to leave a comment and discuss. I'll try to post videos in a more timely manner. I spent most of the day today just trying to, you know, rebuild my PC. That's why this one came a little bit later than usual. But I'll, you know, I'll be more consistent. Anyways, thanks for supporting me, guys. As always, I love y'all. Peace.